And that will do it. That's the final whistle. Mallorca won. Real Madrid won. Everybody expected Real Madrid to win this game easy. But it was not an easy game. It is a draw game. But lessons needs to be learned from this match. I think Carlo Ancelotti made a huge mistake. Just waiting. Waiting until the 88 minutes to make a, cha a change. To make a sub. You waited until the 88 minutes. That's ridiculous. That is just a ridiculous decision to wait that long. And because of that, I think they have lost two points uh, today. Mallorca definitely uh, deserved to get a draw out of this game. Uh, Muriki with the goal for Mallorca. Rodrigo, of course, gave Real Madrid the lead in the first half, but it wasn't to be. It was not a convincing performance by Real Madrid. We said, we asked questions, is Kylian Mbappé going to disrupt the team's flow? Is he going to disrupt the leadership, the main players in this team? And there's a lot of questions that needs to be asked because today, Mbappé played as a nine. I don't think he was effective. And what is the future lies? Where does the future lies? I mean, Vinny Jr. is playing on the left. Mbappe played through the center today. And it just did not work. It did not work. A lot of people thought that Kenny and Mbappe would be on the score sheet. Forget about that. Madrid don't even win the match. And that is a huge, huge disappointment. And Barcelona, Barcelona take a two-point lead in La Liga. That's what's happening. That is what's happening. Mubana says, I'm even crying. Don't cry. It's just the first game, bro. We need to stay calm. But Carlo Ancelotti definitely needs to find the right formation. He needs to find the right formation because it wasn't just working today. It was not working today. The formation did not work. And Ancelotti took too long to make a change. Adra Guder needed to come on. Brian Diaz needed to come on. Vinny Jr., Rodrigo. They were ineffective in the second half and they needed to be taken off. But Ancelotti did not take them off in time. And he paid for that. He paid for that mistake, bro. He paid for that mistake. Uh, there was some suspect. I mean, there was some cause that needed to be given. Kylian Mbappe taken down in the penalty box. That wasn't given in the first half. But I'm not blaming the referee here. I think that the performance has to be better. The performance has to be better from Real Madrid. And it wasn't to be today. It wasn't to be 1-1. Uh, one, one. Matter of the match, let me know in the comment section. Probably you would have to say Rodrigo is the better of everybody because of the goal. Because of the goal, you've got to say Rodrigo was the better player compared to the other players today. But it's a lot of question that needs to be asked in that front line. And Bellingham also ineffective today. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of questions that, that needs to be asked. But yeah, guys, it is a draw. And the next game now for Real Madrid is going to be against... Uh, let me double check. So the next game for Real Madrid will be against... It's going to be against uh, Real, uh, Real Valladolid at home. So it should be a win. It should be a win. I'm excited for that one. That's going to be on Sunday as well. So make sure you join us for that one. But that is it, people. Thank you for watching. Good night. It's not the result we needed, but it's okay. It's okay. You know, in the end, we're going to win La Liga. We're going to win every single trophy there is to win, bro. Just stay calm, people. Madrid fans, stay calm. We're going to win the league, okay? Have a good night, people. Thank you for watching. Be sure, be sure to smash a like before you leave. Subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel. And also download the SofaScore app if you don't have the SofaScore app. But that is it, people. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. I'm out. Peace.